Okay, starting off with a big creep camp here, if that's not interrupted. This could be a disaster right out the gate. If focus arrives in time, we've seen some great steals recently. It was in the weekly cup in Dice versus Hawk, where exactly that happened. Um, so there is quite a bit of time for focus, then it's down to last hitting and saving peasants. Seems to have exactly the right idea. He's heading that way right now. The last hits here are so important. If the rock column goes to the orc, it is almost game, to be honest. Stock should certainly get the item, but will he get the XP as well? We need to keep a close eye. And it goes to Sock just narrowly. Gets the item as well. Squall of the Beast. Next last hit for him as well as level 2. Alright, he got the XP, got the level that he needed. But peasants are in trouble. Right on. Second one already down. That's obviously cutting into lumber, which will delay the tech, which is definitely favoring focus here. But the third one might be safe because Sock is blocking with the peasant to save the second peasant. Will it be enough though? Arcane is up. Militia called. And with that, it's a save and a grunt surround. Oh, Sock turning this around all of a sudden. It's going to cost him a lot of HP, but he gets the kill and also the experience. AM now very hurt, that is pretty annoying, but perhaps he can make it to the fountains to heal there. Though of course the wolves will be chasing, and especially with that kill, and only I guess two peasants going down. Seems like this is favoring Sock this opening. Right on. What's he doing with that advantage? He got the Scroll of the Beast, which is certainly a play-making or play-creating item. But currently, he's not really in shape to do anything. Archmage is crazy hurt. No shop, no mercenaries here. And the Farsi is sharking around, trying to get a connection. I am trying to run, run, run. It may cost him a TP in the end. Would love to keep creeping, get that level 3. The right clicks are noticeable from the Farseer. AM is just simply a squishy hero. Has a TP now. And he gets out just in time. And hurt he will be as well. Militia called, want to creep more, want to level up for the AM. Scouting as well. Oh, nice Militia play here. Finding the Farseer and getting the surround. Damn, okay. Wow. Wow, the heads up play by Sock to create a little bit of militia wall um, to keep the Archmage safe. There is another headhunter here making sure you're not taking a bath, my friend. You might have uh, gotten my Farseer here. That was sweet, but no healing still. And he's also not building a shop. Like, this Archmage will fall sooner or later. Unless he can make it to the shop for the boots. Headhunters, spot him. Oh, they're just a little bit too slow. Needs the boots, so bad. Also the tele staff, I like that. No circlet though. And if you could just stand at the Up fountain for a few seconds, these HP will already be valuable. Ooh, okay, above the 100 HP mark. Footies were creeping on the upper left-hand side. That was the most they can do. And ideally, you want to meet up now and support this footman push with water elemental. So just got level two. This is scary for focus. Has to stay home with the hurt Farsia. What a stressful start, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, had to put out fires everywhere, but Sock did it pretty well. Dennis, thank you very much for the resub as well. Tier 2 is done, the footies are in the base, so is the Watch Elemental. And that lodge will certainly be cancelled, but the AM, of course, can't really participate too well. Oh, but with the Scroll of the Beast, that's still a lot of damage. Plus 9 damage on the Watch Elementals. Footman benefit, of course, as well. Lots of repair. Focus is down in Lumber. He's at 100. How is he ever supposed to build the lodge again? Really nice play by Sog, man. Dude. Yo. Winding back into the early game, you know, when he was creeping this big camp and the Farsi was coming, there were so many ways that that could go horribly wrong. Yep. But he salvaged it really, really well. And now, most likely finds himself in a leading position. Farsi finally got another kill, finally got level two, and the TC is out. But yes, the lodge is late. Oh, so very late. And MK and casters are coming on the other side. Dude. Two surrounds, one against the Grunt, one against the Farsia. Getting that Rock Golem, saving the Archmage, Scroll of the Beast play. It's just uh, close to a perfect game. And the pressure with the Watermelon continues! Oh! Oh! The next one, bro. Suck. And we kind of saw that in the group stage as well. Between heaven and hell, dude. When he's yep. on, he's on. 
Hopefully you can keep this up for the day. Same was the case for Focus, of course, yesterday. Just because he owned map 1 doesn't mean he's going to have the same performance on map 2 and that can be said vice versa. Just because Sock seems to be ahead now doesn't mean that this will continue for the rest of the series or even the day. Um, but yeah, this is looking extraordinary. Double Sanctum is coming up, not going into Rifles. We're going to go Priests and Breakers. Focus did get the Beast to up. Supports the Headhunters with Kodos now, Raiders later, but yeah, no Dispel against the summons of the Archmage is uh, not optimal. Yeah, and of course, on this map, well, not, not on this map, in general, if we start off the game 1 base 1 base, the Orc will want to expand on tier 2, but for that you need to creep the expansion and you need to get good army. Sark managed to delay the Shaman and stop the creeping, and the Goldmine hasn't been taken. This is a beautiful early game all around by Sock, no question about it. But uh, he's not out of the woods yet. One big concern I guess here is he doesn't have a TP. Once there's a few Raiders, once there's a few Shaman, and perhaps three two levels on the Orc Heroes, Focus could still look for a big play. I really like the positioning by Sock up until this point. He was always in punching distance towards the upper left hand side. Now making the decision that he delayed the expansion for long enough. So Rat Spot is up for grabs to level that MK and take the experience and item away from focus. A priest fell to the Ogre Lord. Um, it's a strong creep, man. The best are losing units and heroes to it. It's a little annoying here to have that healing missing now, but it is worth it. It's a sick item on the MK. Medallion of Courage, one of the best, very best items the MK can hope to find. In the meantime, Focus took the natural and will be trying the expansion. He's got the resources for it. Finally, the lumber has normalized, but this is certainly rather on the later side. Whew. Dispel is coming against Wolves and Lightning Shield. No level 3 after 9 minutes for focus. And you got an Invo Potion. Mountain King 2.6. Um, no, that's not level 3, right? That would be... Who is it? It is very close. Ooh, oh my huge. god, on the shot. So close to the main base, normally the orc doesn't want to fight the human. The militia here would be so strong in support. And the farseer is hurt right away, has to back off. Slow still on, speed scroll soon over. TC needs to cover this retreat. This is not a great start here for focus. MK has oh, so much mana. There is no info potion. Bow! <laughs> farseer eating two hammers down on HP. No chance. But Mountain King, he ain't done yet. The next storm ball and a bash as well. This Kodo certainly falls. That is the first breaker returning. And Sok is just owning this fight after a terrific, honestly amazing early game. He is reaping the rewards. And now he can go to the shop as well, get an invuln perhaps to be safe. He's gonna get the heal scroll here. And there's only peasants going down on the human side pretty much. This is looking tremendous. Yeah, that stomp was also only hitting like two workers or something. Ridiculous. And that Mountain King is hammering away. Every storm bolt on the unit is basically a guaranteed kill. Focus desperately mixing some Wyvern in for damage, but Shaman also don't have mana anymore. Water Elementals at crazy damage. Level 4 now adds crazy mana regen. And that Expo has already been attacked. Pickaxe power! One concern here is the Mountain King. He's very hurt. Sock should give over the heal potion that he has on the AM. Yeah, maybe he doesn't realize. Oh, but the Farseer also doesn't realize where he's going. Oh, if there had been a Storm Bolt, he would have been dead. It's ready now. He'll be dead. He is. Wow. Clinic. Absolute clinic by Sock. He was probably tuned into our broadcast, saw the chat saying Sock's gonna go down, heard us saying Sock's gonna go down, and decided for Onich. He chose violence here today and focus on the receiving end. Incredibly impressive what Sock brought to the table here so far. Yeah, that was a beautiful early game. I still feel like sometimes Sock, more than just sometimes, I feel like he takes risks a lot in the early game, right? Sometimes it works. Here it looked beautiful. Yesterday, the most surprising perhaps of the match that he had was against Kaho. But he also went for Risky Creeper at the start. 
was trying to get that level 2 and expansion rolling quickly, but Kaho was there. Kaho punished him. Kaho stole the last hits. And then suddenly, the game looks really bad. And you look kind of stupid for taking those risks. But Sok, I guess that's his playstyle right now. He is the Gamble King. The Gamble King. The wolf of... The road to Stratom or something. Yeah. Remo cringing. Of, uh, when, he, when he smiles like that, he's like, oh, that wasn't funny, Neo. That wasn't funny. <laughs> we appreciate the attempt always. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of Old Boy, if I could remember a street name from that movie. But oh, that's a good movie. No. I do remember the hallway fight, though. That, that is... that is One shot, baby. That, that's, that, that's one of the few things I know about movies. One shot. Yeah. 20 seconds till the second game starts. We're going to switch over to Northern Isles. Northern Isles, oftentimes a uh, popular orc go-to. The Farseer can either be aggressive right away if he wishes, or he can creep an easy, fast level 2, pick up two items. And it has a nice benefit as well that it is not really easy to fast expand on either. Conceal till we saw on fast, fast Expo. That wasn't a surprise. Northern Isles, I wonder if Sok will... Try to attempt one. Fortitude, for example, has been playing a lot of fast expos, but of course that comes down a lot to exactly the maps. Yeah, it's kind of cool to see how the top players of each race develop a different style, like Sock and Fortitude are very, very different. Happy and 1-2-0 are very, very different. Focus and Lin are very, very different. Uh, for the Night Elves, can be said as well. Kao is certainly playing different. Lawlight is playing different. Moon is playing a different... Um, it's a good meta that we're living in, and we also got a new sub. Thank you, Havoon and Twitch, for the 11 month. Always appreciate the support, buddy. And now we're loading in. Northern Isles it is. If Focus loses this map now, it's looking really grim for him already. Uh, he could, of course, escape with the win over Infi afterwards, but as we said before, every map counts. You don't want to go down 0-2. Precisely, Neil. Off we go. First heroes have been selected. Farseer vs. Archmage again. It's been a long time since I saw, saw Sock play in MK first. Not just in this matchup, but also against Undead. Where the MK, surprisingly, seems to be getting picked less and less. But big question here is, what exactly is the build gonna be? What's the creep route gonna be? And will there be an expansion or not? Lots of humans lately have been playing the Tuscar camp first here. I think that's the opening that I like the most. You get a big consumable right away, you can build a tower behind. It costs you a good amount of lumber, but getting that fast level 2 and consumable can be so good for you. But as we see here, this will not be the Tuscar camp. This will be a green camp with a 3 farm tech or an expansion. Well, 3 farms confirmed. Let's see if we get a 4th one. Foot me, if foot me, footman is making the way across. To scout what's going on and how aggressive focus is. He also can make a decision if he wants to run across immediately or stop at a green camp. But green camp it is. First little item. Claws would obviously be nice. And footman detects. Oh, that Farseer is nigh. Gonna see the tech timing soon, but I guess he kind of knows what to expect there anyways. The Farseer normally always goes to the green camp to prevent that from being taken by the human, but the AM is walking perhaps somewhere else. Moving out on the map right now is Sok with his Archmage, and now Focus needs to be in two plays at the same time. Good thing is, he's got a Farseer who's got summons. That's right, Woofy's already in the base. Oh, just resummoned here to get the Water Elemental. Uncontested, but... This is very, very aggressive. This is definitely a weird opening. Like, nobody really achieves what he wanted to achieve initially, but also holding the other back. So, in the end, it's a tie. A player's forces are yeah, so, I could have gone up to the other green camp and called the militia to creep the green camp on his side. At least, could have attempted it. He's clearly trying to run away from this Farseer, getting punished here by the ensnare. The Murloc Huntsmen have been... Uh, <laughs> Causing some trouble for some of these players. And trying to get that level 2 now. This is why I don't like this opening so much for human, by the way. It takes you a long time to get level 2. And level 2 is not guaranteed. If Focus steals this trapper now, this huntsman now, which I guess he will, mm -hmm. Sock is still not on level 2. And that means no brilliance aura. Good 
come back by focus thus far, getting solid experience thanks to the water elemental. Huntsman still up, but he got his eyes on a bigger prize, on an ogre magi prize. You can see that pretty easily. He's got enough headhunters here available. Right now, Sok would love to creep something as well by himself, but he doesn't have his forces together. This looks like a great early game so far for focus. Gets the item here. One of Madison can be amazing. And the militia trying to intercept here are a little bit too late. Unfortunately, that is the case. We go towards the Moloch Flesh Eater for finally hitting level 2. Took him 2 minutes 20 seconds. One of Illusion also only good for scouting, won't help uh, in recovery, won't help in the mana department. And Farseer and Headhunters, they detect the creeping rather well. Went of mana stealing and you love that item in this matchup at this position, don't you? Yeah, early game is a crazy good item against any hero who wants to use mana. There's some exceptions. Against Team Hunter, for example, it doesn't do anything. But uh, in most cases, it is really, really good. AM now going to be dry for quite a while, especially if he gets burned again. And the Farseer is taking a great XP lead. He's got lots of headhunters out on the map. None of them have died. He can really pull ahead here now as we enter the tier 2 stage. Yeah, and this is no expansion where Sock can rely on and explode into 70 food in like three minutes or so. It is a one base play, so you kind of have to be able to contest your opponent at any stage of the game, or at least the base. And when the fights don't work, the base is always a vulnerability for orcs. Last game we cancelled the Spirit Lodge, this time we focus on the Beastery successfully. Ooh, so? It's got a bit of bonus attack speed, and that is enough. This is quite nice, actually. This means the raiders are delayed by a few seconds, which can be a big deal. Oh, but look at the headhunter movement. Intercepting the Archmage here, there will be a TP forced. Nicely done. Nice formation indeed. Didn't run into a surround, realized the situation earlier, but gotta be careful now to not get caught again. Double Sanctum, Mountain King is the play one more time. Lodge comes up this time, uh, so... No raiders early on or kodos early on, but instead purge against weak water elementals. Good situation for focus still. The defend creeping is really cool here. Sok knows he was far behind in XP, the AM was distracting, got the cancel, was forced to TP, and the footies took to the marketplace right away, where there's only defend, which they take very little damage from. This was really cool as well by Sok. I would say the opening kind of threw him behind. Not the best start for him, but he's going for good plays here to come back into a solid position. TC creeping. Slow trap coming. Expo up. Archmage with an illusion sees it immediately, but obviously that's no damage. So you gotta cross the map without getting caught by Stomp and then put damage towards the second base. Um, Sock under pressure. Of course, one good fight could change it all. And with the wand of the wind, you can go for a good fight. That's two kills right away. 12 second disable on the far seer if he wants to use it again, but the TC level 2 already. The stomp here is quite good. He's looking for more kills. He's got two headhunters so far, right? And went for level 2 watch elements, by the way. Despite there being shaman so soon, a little bit questionable maybe, but still some experience here being gained. Some kills being found. Expansion still far from up. The militia are here, but are gonna run out in a moment. Wait, are you just... Pushing this already, this early, with your mana being so low. He's going for the oh. Farseer, trying to escape. Mountain King in trouble. Second hero versus first hero. Mountain King goes down. Uh-oh. Focus saves this level 3 hero with the town portal. Low HP, needs to regenerate. And Focus feels forced to cancel the expo. So, big win for Sock. Didn't he cancel a bit too early? Yeah. That was the damage in this army. One water elemental. elemental, and that's kind of it. The rest was casters. Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe the expo still falls, but he's got the aura. He's back there soon. He's healing up. He could have found some kills. That seems like a cancel that was too early. But okay, fair enough. The MK was killed. He's stuck on level one here for a long time. <sighs> Priest found in the back as well. Easy kill right there. Seems like Sok is struggling now more and more. He can't call the militia at the moment. The peasants are running back home as we speak. And that's some nice catch-up 
by Focus, Casters falling, Water Elemental purged, Footman have the fan, but not enabled. All right, we have a clear target, and that is Shaman to enable Water Elementals again. Another semi feta storm, and little mana left on these Dispel Purge Shaman thingies. Focus doesn't like the situation anymore. Yeah, he got a bunch of kills pretty easily. Only lost one. He can back off and on his way and on his way home. Also get the heal scrolls. This is also great for Orc in this matchup. If you have map control, which you oftentimes do, you can dominate the shop and get those great items going. And this time around, it seems like Sock is just very battered and very bruised. He's looking rather weak. He's gonna need a long time to build a decent army, and by that time, the expansion should be finished. We got another sub. Thank you, Flame Skynet, for the gifted sub. Love to see that, mate. Thank you. Damn. Way more even than one could have thought after 4 minutes 30. Sock is having a little bit of momentum here. Not saying that it's looking necessarily great, but definitely competitive. Mountain King needs the levels. We'll get the levels for this Furberg. Okay, got it. So, clap or bash? Bash again. Bash once more, like we saw before, especially if he doesn't get level 3. The clap wouldn't be so impressive. But look at these Orc hero levels. Oh, <laughs> they are looking too scary, I guess. Okay. Oh, calls for the GG. I hope that wasn't a disconnect. And I guess that's 1-1. One, one. Right, this is a little uh, premature, a little anticlimactic. Just tapping out without a fight. Doesn't want to give uh, focus the momentum, the joy of slaughtering that human army. In Flow TV, it doesn't say disconnect, so it was just a leave with a GG. Okay, that's one way to end game two, and the score is tied. Incredibly important map coming up, and Sock with the advantage that he won the neutral map, so the last and deciding map is his loser's choice. Yeah, Twisted Meadows it is, where, unlike the other two maps, we see a lot of expansion play. But over the last few weeks, I think Sock has been moving more and more away from expansion. So it might not be the choice here. Also a map where sometimes we see MK. But that doesn't seem to be Sock's favorite choice for himself at the moment. It's so greedy also. It's so hard to do. Because the map, yeah, Twisted, if you go for the lab, you don't have anything really to tank that... Ice is disposable, like water elementals. Should probably, since it's so important, rely on an archmage. But hey, you never know with these guys. Maybe that's exactly the reason to go for a gamble right here, right now. And our game, Twisted Meadows, of course, the greatest map of all time. For this stage of the tournament, I appreciate it. Show us what you got, Focus and Sock. And show us they will here in just a moment. We're loading in for the Decider map 3. Spawning position is also very important on this map. If you happen to spawn close to the Merc camp, the human can consider trying to go for that camp and get the mercenaries. Shadow Priest especially amazing against the Farseer early game. But uh, it's not a consideration this time. We are not at the Merc camp. We got the other spawns. Oh, and we got a different hero as well. It is time for the MK. <laughs> Which can be very hit or miss. We'll see how it's played. I love Mountain King first. Brings a lot of spice to the table. But just from experience, I've seen this punished more often than I see this dominate the map. Sock seems to have confidence in it. And I hope he's right, because this ain't easy, man. Mountain King Militia creep at the lab. Focus yeah. Yeah. will probably figure out relatively fast what's going on. And then with the fast here, he can kind of dominate Mountain King if Sock doesn't create a play very early on. Yeah, if everything goes well with the MK, if you get good items, good level up timings, good expo timings, MK can look amazing. But boy, are there many things that can go wrong. You take too much damage from the creeping, you get bolded a few times, there's wolves in the base, you lose some peasants, you lose HP, you can't heal, the shop is being cancelled. Sock needs to be in tip-top shape. It, we need a concealed hill, Sock. That's for sure. Focus already on the way there. Militia taking some hits. Oh, 
Fasia actually with a pit stop at the green, that gives Sock some time to finish this camp. Yeah, this is a really good scout by Sock, by the way. This damage on the Farseer is relevant. The Fury is sacrificing a bit of HP for himself, but uh, every bit of HP really here is a big deal. And so are the items. And MK, I think he just found the best early game item. Ring of the Arc Magi. Absolutely grand. That is the start he was hoping for. Can argue that a Subi Mask is maybe better for Storm Balls, but yeah, stats-wise, plus three on everything. More HP, more armor, more mana. It's fantastic. So, Sock didn't even have to dodge a bullet. There was just no bullet. MK moving out far on the map. Okay, where are we going? Maybe Looks he's like confusing... He's going to intercept the farce here. Yeah, maybe he's confusing the Mountain King with an Archmage and wants to go for Burrows, but... Oh, still an opportunity to lose some workers here. First one down. That attack missed. Will he get... Oh, two workers down due to wolves. Very hard to prevent that, although Sok could have saved perhaps one of them if he had been a bit quicker on that. But it is what it is. I guess the prime concern for him was stop the Farseer from getting level 2 that he successfully did. And he got the Tele Staff, which is really cool. He can shark around now, look for the Farseer, keep him busy, and then join the creeping at the natural. Because that's where the boys are heading. <sighs> did Focus miss him? It was night time. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, I think the timing's just a little bit off. Yeah, we saw some players lately try to prevent the orc from creeping his merc camps at night time. It's an orc favorite. Pull out the camp, easy to creep, and you get some mercenaries, and boy, are they good. Berserker, prime unit for the early game. But the MK with the hand cannon, the Stormbolt, has a very good answer to it. And dude, <laughs> his items are insane. Yeah. For the early game, Ring of Vision and Ring of the Arc Magi. Absolutely grand. Focus can't complain either with a big mana potion and a mantle. The nuts for the Farseer at this camp. Lots more summons, lots more chain lightning, which she will need to take care of Sock's economy. Expo coming up, I think at this point it's unpreventable, but Focus has to make some decisions. Counter expansion, yes or no. Fire Lord, maybe even. TC, Raider attack, Wyvern attacks. Not too easy to come to a conclusion, but right now he has decided for TC. Sock scouting with three units at the same time right now. Two footmen are on the map and the MK. They just can't find the Farseer for the longest time. Now he finds him. Now he knows where he is, but now it's too late. Farseer is level three already. And Wolves level two are amazing against the MK. Don't want to use and waste the Storm Bolts on them, of course. So some towers will be needed very soon. The MK is trying to catch up to the Orc army. If he gets there, he can look for some kills. But without the boots, it's difficult to get there in time. Raider Walker is the answer for focus. If you don't face an Archmage, then this spell isn't that important until your opponent gets slow. So you have a lot more time and you can afford walkers plus the upgrade. And Spirit Link is incredibly good in an early stage of this mid game. Mountain King having a feast at this grunt intercepts the, 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 the Fasia a little bit, buying time, and starts to tag it around the six minute mark, which is exactly where you want it. MK could commit in here to get some kills, but it would cost him a lot of HP. He's waiting for the footman to join. As long as his opponent isn't creeping, this is still okay for him. Again, these items, by the way, are so good, it's ridiculous. Getting healed over time by the Ring of Region. We see a Peon coming for the counter expansion. That is denied, <laughs> at least the first time around. Not the greatest losses, but a lot of time, of course. Peons are rather slow, so that is 15, 20 seconds. But the camp has to be cleaned up as well. TC, Talisman of Evasion, not bad, not great. And oh boy, Sock wants this Berserker, and he gets it with ease. And if you can trade one for one, this is absolutely grand here for Sock. The more kills he gets, the better it is for him here on the, the side of map three. Gets another one, gets two headhunters here, and there is one more Stormbolt at least. There should be one more kill at least. MK getting so much stuff done, even without boots. Oh, he's getting greedy. Oh getting all of them! Oh, wow. Sick creep jack by Sock. The power of a Stormbolt 
Fueled by Ring of Region, fueled by the Ring of the Arch Magi. Great decision making. All of them wiped out. How do you creep now even? Not even thinking about an attack, but how do you creep? Yeah, the TC got some XP from the footage at least. He's level 2. Farseer is level 3. <coughs> 0.5. But the thing is, you want to have a big army. You want to be at 50 supply soon. Maybe heal through And then go for the attack yourself. And then make the human feel the pain. But look at the MK. He's not done yet. He's going to get the cancel here by himself. All the while getting healed by this Ring of Vision. Easy cancel indeed. Sock going double. Barracks. Rifles coming. Peon dead again. What a clinic by Sock. Yeah, that's that's insane. This is the most effective early game MK I've ever seen if he didn't have boots. The items here have to be mentioned. These items were insanely good. But that's Warcraft. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes a little bit less so. This MK is almost level 4. <laughs> Just needs one more Peon. Well, kaboosh. Bash level 2, not bad. Now, well, the staff right next to a raider was a little bit ambitious. So he's stuck there for the time being, but it's just peon, peon slaying time. From a oh. bash? A player's quite. Are under attack. Yeah, this is pretty annoying. Has to load up the peons now into the burrows. Focus has to go for the counter attack to alleviate some pressure. But Sok has gotten so ready by now. He's got the second Rax, he's got the Sanctum coming, double Sanctum it is, and he's got the towers. He's got all the lumber he would ever need, thanks to the Shredder. This is just a picture-perfect game so far. Four production buildings soon to be up. Archmage in the back, rifles and one getting caught, the other was saved. But we have the big Orc artillery. Shockwave chain lightning in sync. Doesn't lead to too many kills. You don't want to move too close to that base because the arcane tower is obviously burning your mana. But we're just waiting for the next shockwave. Archmage can't creep. It's a little bit of a nuisance. And it feels like this cancelled staff hurts Sock now. Yeah, that was a little bit sloppy. Uh, one of the few mistakes here for him. The Sanctum is going to go down. Caster count is low. Archmage, by the way, almost going down. Not paying attention. Oh, Sock. You're slipping up a bit with the multitasking. But a level 1 hero is quick to revive. True. But I wonder, what was he doing in the meantime? Like, maybe killing another peon, and that was the exact moment where he wasn't looking. But the fortification is nice, the Sim City is nice, everything is way too protected to attack into it with only this handful of raiders. Rune Brace is pretty sweet for focus as a drop against Stormbolt. As we still don't have clap. Archmage has Blizzard, is back in five seconds. That Sanctum being destroyed though. Will delay breakers, will delay Sorks, and gives Focus a little bit of time to breathe. Focus trying again with the expansion. This is what must be now the fourth attempt. And perhaps this one will work. He's gotten great experience. Farseer with a level 4 already. TC's close to it. That is the one big advantage. Here is the experience on the second hero. AM at the moment, not contributing much, but he is a great hero that scales very well with higher levels as well. Ring of Region on the TC. Big potion. Okay. Focus is not giving this up, knowing how important every single map and every single series is here in the tiebreaker. You don't want to... Go up against Infi and know that you have to win the match to survive. Want this little little buffer win you got here. More creeping, taking things slower. Sock's attention was always in the north, so focus with a little bit of sidestep and builds a base at what is it, seven o'clock. Scout Footy, I guess, will make his way over there now. And we'll find out soon. But by then, it should be close to finished. MK keeps creeping with the Archmage, by the way, which I don't mind. I am still going to get level 2 pretty quickly. And of course, we all know how insanely strong MK5 is. If you get to that level, you retrain, you go for clap. It is one of the most potent weapons you can hope for. But now the next big attack comes from Focus with a lot of mana. Insane amounts of mana, actually, on the TC. We double big mana potion. Yo, that's some shock waves here. Repair should be possible. We talked about the Sim City. He wanted to expand on that. Didn't really work. The farm's not finished. That's easy pickings for the Raiders. But how good is this army at fighting? 
Oh, fake TP with a staff. Gonna force focus away. Getting kind of tricked here. Now the Raiders find the human army. At the moment, it's not a big death ball yet, but the MK still is to be respected. I guess the human army finds the Raiders were uh, not pulled back in time, but only one kill for a Stormbolt, that's sweet. Footman does indeed find the second base. Lots of damage, but I don't think it's enough. It's a good prep for what's to come later. Here in the open field, it will be quite tricky for the Archmage to get the blizzards out. It's once again down to the MK. Stock wasn't producing for a long time, sitting on a bunch of gold here. Every unit is a big help, especially the breakers to have a front line. And we have more breakers coming now. Also a few farms, I guess, were destroyed, but they're being remade now. Stock has a huge supply lead, but don't count out these orc heroes. Focus is expanding for the second time. Yes, he is. Trying to distract here to get the two bases up. There was a nice heal scroll, by the way, counteracting the chain wave combo. Farsi are now out of mana, so is the TC. But we have those mana potions, of course. TP home gonna be forced, even the Shredder participating. One Kodo goes down. And that is Sok starting to feel like the stronger force on the map. 70 foot now. If the second base in the north pays off and finishes, this might be the game winning move by Focus. Sok cannot allow this. This is so rare to see Expo after Expo staying at 50 ultimate greed by Focus. It's either genius or might cost him the game. MK keeps creeping, really wants to get that level 5. Could already get a Tome of Retraining. Oh, and he does. That's nice. Tome of Retrain and Heal Scroll and Potion. All pretty expensive, but fueled by the two base economy. Can afford it. What's the big item here at the expansion? Staff of Teleportate? No way, he dropped that. Oh, <laughs> darkness. That is pretty bad, I guess. Yeah. For an Archmage, I guess it's kind of nice of a damage boost. Could get some last hits in. Skeletons versus Raiders, in theory, kind of need to have. And maybe for Twisted, having free scout units is also decent. But yeah, I guess there's... There's plenty of other good ones. A lot of gold if you need some in a pinch. So in that case, you can perhaps keep it and save it for a rainy day. Focus here with a big attack towards the human main base. If he takes out the keep, this could be a quick end to this game, perhaps. Chain wave. Oh my god, completely off the mark. That shockwave didn't hit anything. Um, okay. In the meantime, the expansion is getting attacked. Clap, blizzard, lots of damage. This great hall will fall. Question is, how much is dying in the human main? Ooh, so far not that much, but the workers are being slaughtered now, but that's also two of the mana potions gone. The entire mana pool is gone. The keep still standing. Work is also up there. Sock is here and having a shredder should provide him with all the lumber he ever needs. So still having five peasants here is pretty solid. And he took out that base with ease at the bottom. I say that's a net win for Sock. Yeah, we'd love to see him go for late game boots now, by the way. He's got the clap now. He would love to get in the right position. There's some items he can swap around, some items he can sell. The one item he certainly needs is a TP. And he got a new one. Orc, always very good at going for the counter-attack play. With a movement speed, with a pillage, and with a high damage. But right now, Focus is staying at home, creeping up. He's trying to get double level fives. Double level fives open up insane damage potential for the Orc. Oh, but the Farseer can't get to the shop. Sees the human army on the approach. And half of Sock's army is now magic immune with the breakers. He also got three heal scrolls. I'm having a rough time seeing focus going through here. He needs to strike a genius. Two mana potions on the heroes. Little to work with, really. Hero focus, pretty impossible as well. Shockwave, chain lightning reaches the back, but Clap Blizzard is just superior. And yeah, the positioning here for Sock is grand. The MK, oh my god, look at the clap. That is the power of level 3 clap. Now the Raiders were able to dodge the clap, but the grunts certainly aren't. Oh my god, and he's spamming that stuff on cooldown. MK, as long as he has mana here, is absolutely devastating. And as he scores enough, it seems like, on Sock's side to withstand oh. the AoE. Triple oh. kill on the Raiders.